Hello Mallards, it is Sunday. I am at the CFC Arts Black Box Theater because I am about to go see The Bee is for Bullshit. Uh, it is a Playwrights Roundtable production piece that I'm pretty excited for. Uh, it has a lot of people I really adore as members of the cast, including the very talented Billy. Uh, and I'm excited to see her perform. I'm super excited for everything else that is gonna happen here. This is a show that was supposed to happen back in I think April, and then got pushed to the end of June, beginning of July. So I'm glad that I was able to fit it back into my schedule and still get a chance to go. And I'll let you know, I don't know much about what the show is about because that's not why I'm here. I'm here to support people and have a good time. And I'll check in with you when the show's over. The show is over. It was very, very enjoyable. So Jessica Fernando directed this one and you know that I adore her and she did a really good job of staging this. Uh, the Black Box Theater is a relatively small stage but it never felt too small and she also like took the opportunity to stage some stuff down on the floor as well as just up on the stage which I thought was a cool and interesting choice and I liked the way they like set the sections of the stage up. The performers were phenomenal. It essentially is a story that centers around a group of five kids and one of the, well, kids, I use that term very loosely, starting when they're 18 and going in sometime in their 20s. Uh, and one of those kids' moms and their next door neighbor. And it is a story of identity and like figuring out who you are and the definition of bisexual and like, bisexual erasure and it is a very poignant piece uh, but it's also hilarious and the performances were really really good. Uh, Billy is phenomenal always. I love her and her character Argo was the like heart you know if they're like captain planet elements uh, Argo is the heart and had a lot of the most like poetic and poignant lines throughout the whole show and also had the most empathy of any of the characters and it was nice to have that balance because there were a lot of really unempathetic characters in the show and that could be painful in certain moments uh, like a mother freaking out when her son realized he was bisexual instead of gay and started dating a woman and she's like no this is wrong you're supposed to be gay and that's uh, always a bummer kind of hate that and then uh, Chloe who played Sal, who was the neighbor, was also a standout performer. Uh, fantastic job with the emotional range of, so the neighbor is a lesbian and has been pining after this kid's mother who thinks that she's straight the whole show. Well, almost the whole show, I guess, and has since they've known each other. And so the emotions that she plays and sort of the character that she plays is really nice. And then when uh, Regina, who's the mother, like comes to the realization that she loves Sal, Sal turns her down. And that's maybe my favorite part of the show. Like, I love that she's like, yes, you figured yourself out and I'm very happy for you, but I've waited too long and this should not be. And I like a show that doesn't make somebody forgive all of the terrible things that have happened just because romance is involved. And that may be my romantic self speaking, uh, but it is a trope that I despise. So I was really pleased to see it not show up here. All in all, I really enjoyed the show. I'd tell you to go to it, but uh, I came to the last day, so you can't, sorry, you missed your chance. But uh, I will link to Playwrights Roundtable down there. They've got a 10 minute play festival coming up that you should definitely check out. They put out good content and it's fun to just see talented local people in theater. And I'll see you tomorrow.